Hey everyone, Nick McClure here. I am here at 2664 Vermont Route 16 in Greensboro. So here we are looking up the road north and looking down Route 16 to the south. We'll take a ride on in. So we are going to come over this bridge that goes over the Lamoille River. It's got nice big I-beams underneath it. And give you a look down the river there. And up the river here. Overhead powers run into the property. Sorry about the dinging. There we go. Got some nice fields both on the right and to the left. The current owners have grown garlic here. So nice fertile fields. Got some nice trails that run up into the woods there. And we've got this nice large building here, which was uh, main floor was originally storage area with the idea of the upper floor and a half being uh, utilized for, for living space. There is an operational bathroom in it, but otherwise it's pretty unfinished on the interior. Got a few apple trees here. All right, so now I'm out of my truck here, looking back at one of the fields, back to towards Route 16. And then we're gonna spin around. Mention a couple fruit trees down in there. Deer tracks all over the place. And here's the building. All vinyl sided, the vinyl could use a little pressure washing, but a nice building. Currently has a single garage door, but used to have two doors. So that could be converted back if somebody desired. And then we've got another field down here in front. Some mixed evergreen trees, creating some nice privacy. Uh, this back side of the building it's where we find Flag Brook running down. A couple of little waterfalls here. And you can really hear the sound of the brook. A little lean to off from this side, which has a little outdoor shower. I'll take you inside. Snow here, and we enter into a garage bay, which has a nice large overhead door. Uh, this is where all the power comes in. So you've got a generator panel, on grid power panel, some of the water system here in the back, slop sink, hot water tank, pressure tank for the well. It's all been winterized. So now we go into what the current owner was intending to turn into living space. <clears throat> they, this door is still all framed out for an overhead door here. So if you wanted to go back to garage space on this level, it wouldn't be hard to do. They've got framing in place. A closet there. Floor drains, nice tall ceilings. I would say they're probably nine and a half feet in here. And this is the bathroom, which is substantially finished. There is a finished floor underneath this protective layer. You've got a soaking tub, of course, toilet, and a nice stand up shower. 
linen closet there, or you've got the drawer and the door that goes on this vanity. And then I presume this was going to be a bedroom. And there is behind the sheetrock wall, there's a stairway going up. Uh, currently, we've got a poke outside to get up there, but you could access it right to the right of that blue board there, have a doorway. So this is, you know, just open space in here. Step outside again, immediately hear that brook. And we do have what was framed out as a outdoor shower, which is quite sweet. Nice open space. Step down by the brook here just for a minute because it is very sweet. This great little waterfall, lots of water, definitely going to be you know, some brookies and good fishing here. We're on a warm March day, so probably a little bit more water than normal this time of year. Um, now we'll head upstairs. So we're going to go in this back door. I'll pick up once we get upstairs. All right, so now we're upstairs. So the current owners I mentioned grew garlic. So this was all drying space. All these racks are set up for drying. I think the original design of this building was this floor was all going to be living space, which is quite large, nice tall ceilings, maybe eight and a half feet or so. And these trusses are all open span. So you can lay it out pretty much however you want. Get the view. Well, hard to see through this mesh. There we go. Looking out front. Uh, we do have a whole nother level, or half a level, I should say. Up this stairway. And this is that top floor, just the full length of the building. Just kind of a cool space looking out towards the field. Sorry, we're looking through a screen. And then also looking back towards the brook, which you can hear really strongly from up here. Ceiling's up here a little lower, uh, maybe six, four, I would guess. So. That's the inside. So here I am up at the upper field. Got a couple apple trees, a couple hunting shacks. Not quite a clear day, but you do have some ridgeline views here peeking through the trees. Very private field. And this is the little roadway coming in. This property, 247 acres, listed in Greensboro and Wheelock, Vermont, listed for $549.9. Thanks for watching.